wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. No, nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Fun. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? How would I know what she wants? Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Well, speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're gonna do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. 
Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, now with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Pops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Blam! You thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? 
You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh, um, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess <laughs> both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Caitlin, shall we? Always happy to please. All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing, I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Fine, come on. Fine, veto. You know what? Fuck this game. All right? <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um, uh, sorry. Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, 
Anybody want to play part cheesy? What? Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, Ben, what more has been found? The Hanged Man. <laughs> to be the Hanged Man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? Is that a trail cam? Nick! 
Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Coming. Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there... Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean... Yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? <laughs> right. I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. <laughs> then who? Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but mostly Caitlin. She's sneaky. Huh. Truth of it is, a stupid game, right? I don't know. Maybe it lets us act how we really feel. Uh, or it lets us act as props to help Jacob and Emma hash out whatever bullshit they've got going on. So, then do you have feelings for her? No, I mean, I just meant the whole thing's dumb, that's all. You remember the second or third day of camp, when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember that camper? That, uh, had a little accident on the course? <laughs> he was so embarrassed. I thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, there was like a million people. <laughs> um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi and you barely acknowledged me. Shit, I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it too. But you don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. That'll be Jacob's influence. Yeah, I tend to just fall in line when he's around. You're not Jacob. Don't try to be Jacob. Who wants to be Jacob? Girls are into Jacob. Not the cool ones. Who are the cool ones into then? Guys who are cool enough to help a camper out of a sticky situation. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs>
Let me shoot him there. It's a fun yeah. game. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! Frenched, are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite... There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Hmm. What are these numbers?
Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett? Yeah, we'll see about that. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well, <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. <laughs> Hurricane Jake? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <clears throat> <laughs> hey, split Oh, stop being a uh, Attack! <laughs> Dick move. Okay, hey. Look. <clears throat> Check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your, like, um... Little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on neither. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. 
Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey, what happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick. Go! Okay. I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Yeah, come on, let's get back to the fire. We're waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Okay.
No. Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Son of a bitch. What are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. That was horrible. It was... It, it was... I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there, was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Uh, can you draw what attacked you? Okay. <laughs> Nick, hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? <laughs> did I, did I get, is, is Abby... Yeah, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, big claws. Teeth run on top of me. I 
bitch was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears around here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. So, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It, it was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Here, guys, you're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, 
We're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> One thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So. There's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. <laughs> And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child is all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why does it have to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I... Take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now, anyway.